Hey there, this is Dr. Mort Orman, and uh, I want to talk to you uh, this week about the topic of science. Now, I know that doesn't sound very sexy or very exciting, but when it comes to dealing with stress or having stress, it's an important topic because uh, science and stress are related in many ways. And, and I'm going to talk about several different aspects of science that most people aren't all that clear about and uh, that contributes to stress in many ways. So my first point today that I want to talk about is how science can actually cause us to become stressed. So I'm sure, I'm sure most people understand that when you hear studies reported in the media, when you hear a scientific study has proven X, Y, or Z or whatever, sometimes that can make you anxious, it can make you worried, sometimes it can make you feel guilty, or it can cause you to adopt certain behaviors that may not always be the best for you. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, scientific information being shared today on the web, through the media, uh, in, in movies, on television, and um, you really have to be a very astute consumer to sort through all the information and, and recognize the pitfalls that are there and how you can be manipulated and how people can take advantage of so-called science to cause you to do things or to cause you to feel certain ways. Uh, that may or may not be in your best interest. So we want to focus on a number of aspects of science this week just to give you a little bit of a grounding in uh, at least how I understand science, uh, being a physician, obviously trained in scientific medicine and, and spending many, many years both in training and uh, during my 23 years of practice and subsequently my 15 years as a, a medical director for a Blue Cross, Blue Cross Health Plan. So uh, we're constantly immersed in science, and a lot of people don't really understand some of the subtleties of science and the intricacies of science. And uh, you can be taken advantage of, and you can be stressed out if you aren't clear about these things. So I'll go through uh, one particular major theme each day this week, and hopefully by the end of the week you'll know a little bit more about science than you do today. So talk to you tomorrow.